lovelies, I know it's been a while, uh, I, I feel like this channel has been slightly neglected since I had a little human to um, keep alive. I've very much gotten back on track with my vlogging channel. If you're subscribed to me over on that channel then you'll know that I've been uploading really regularly. In June I did a vlog every other day, I've been loving doing my vlogging channel and I feel like now I've gotten back on track with my vlogging channel it's time to get back on track with this channel. I've missed just sitting down and chatting about you know beauty and fashion and just the good old stuff that I've spoken about on this channel for almost seven years now. Seven years guys I've been on this channel almost. Today I'm coming back with a good old empties video. I started setting up in the living room where I usually film and I just thought well to be honest I did think oh there are so many toys of Delilah's just everywhere like before she just had like a little box I could hide behind me when I filmed now they're just kind of the mountain of toys is just growing and I can't hide that so um I did think maybe I should film somewhere else but also I just want to mix it up I don't want I just I want this channel to feel relaxed I want to have fun doing it I don't want to stress out about where I film and what the lighting's like all the time and what the background looks like Saying that, I did kind of rejig our bedroom before filming. Yeah, I'm going old school and I'm filming in my bedroom, sitting on my bed for the first time in years. So yeah, I am doing a good old empties video. I've not done one in so long that I've been really looking forward to doing this video. The bag had a nice amount of products in when I said I would film this and then the weeks just went by and I think it's been like two months since I wanted to film this video. And now I have so many things in here. So some things I'm going to skim over really quickly, otherwise we'll be here all day. If you've not watched an empties video before, the concept behind it is simple. Buy products, use them up, and then I give you my honest review on them. There's a lot of Lush stuff here. There's, um, I don't know why that's in there, that's not used up. I have my laptop here so I can get myself in focus and it sounds like it's about to take off and I hope you can't also hear that on top of what's already probably really bad sound. So yeah, I've got a load of Lush stuff, I've got some face masks, I've got some shaving products, some Lizelle stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna get through it. So I'm gonna start with the two things I have in my hand here. This is the Marilyn Hair Treatment from Lush. If you ever saw my Instagram where I spoke about it or you've watched my vlogging channel recently, you'll know that I am obsessed with this. If you've got blonde hair, be it natural or bleach, get this. Just get it, it's amazing. I first discovered this product a few years ago, I really liked it, um, and then I, I just stopped using it, just for no reason, I just kind of stopped using it. Recently I rediscovered it, um, sadly you can't get it in stores anymore, you have to buy it online. And because I'm so worried that they'll stop selling it, I've been like bulk buying it in these huge tubs. They don't look that big, but if I show you a, a normal sized Lush tub, that's like the average size that's the big size. I've been like buying four at a time, I, I love them. It's got chamomile and lemon um, and it is meant to help your blonde stay true blonde and get rid of any brassiness. I naturally have a bit of red in my hair so it's always going to be there but if you colour your hair um, it will help to stop it going brassy. But yeah the main reason I love this stuff is that um, it makes my hair so soft it feels so clean and because it's got lemon in it naturally clarifies your hair so if you get a build up of grease and um, product and you're, you're finding that you're washing your hair and it's not feeling clean after you've washed it then um, you probably need to use a clarifying shampoo and this will naturally do it and I use it every time I wash my hair because I only wash my hair every like five days. I feel like every time I say that I have to put a little disclaimer saying I have thick hair, it doesn't get greasy easily, okay, I'm not dirty. <laughs> but yeah, so I use this every time I wash my hair. Um, if you wash your hair every day or every other day, you probably don't want to use it every time you wash your hair, maybe just once a week. But when I used this, I was having some real issues with my hair, just constantly just feeling icky, and this sorted it out. It just feels so soft and clean, and I have that lovely new clean feeling now, which I didn't have for so long. So I couldn't recommend these more. I probably have mentioned these in an empties video before, uh, I apologise if I have. My goal is with these empties videos now is to make a note of what I've mentioned and then never mention it in an empties video again. Because I feel like in my older empties videos I kept mentioning the same thing again and again and it, it gets a bit repetitive if you watch every single one. Bioderma, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it so I'm going to 
skim over it quickly. Um, this is the Hydrating H2O one um, for dehydrated sensitive skin. I always just have a bottle of this for when I'm feeling lazy and I just want to get my makeup off before bed. Um, I pop it onto a cotton pad, take my makeup off and it's done. Simple. I've used this for years. I really like it. I remember when um, it first sort of became a thing in the YouTube community and it was really hard to get hold of and I had to buy it online and now boots and everywhere sell it. So um, yeah, I really like it or it's good to use if you just want to take your makeup off and then you want to use um, another cleanser and really give your face a good clean. Um, so yes, if you've used that for a long time, I recommend it. Oh, another thing that I've used for a while and I know I've mentioned the one in the blue packaging before, I think she says, I'm not sure. But this is the Dr. Bron, I think it's Br Bronner's. Dr. Brunner's Organic Shaving Gel and this is the lavender one. I originally, I've had like, I'm on my third one now, I've been buying them for about two years now. So they last a really long time. The only thing I have to say about this is that for some, I think I may have got a, just a bad batch or this hadn't been stored properly and it got too cold or something um, because it kind of all crystallised inside, it got really lumpy and it was really hard to squeeze out and the consistency was just odd and it was really hard to use. It's lovely and hydrating, like my legs don't feel, although I still need to put moisturiser on after I've shaved, my legs and my underarms don't feel as dry as what they used to use in another shaving product. This actually has sugar in which naturally, I think sugar or like brown sugar or something, um, I don't know, it says it somewhere here on the packaging. But the sugar naturally helps to um, retain moisture. So you find that your skin doesn't dry out as um, much compared to using other shaving products. I really recommend this. I'm on my third one now. I got the... I think I just got the original non-scented one again. And the consistency of that's beautiful. And um, So I think I just had a funny batch of them or this just got stored in somewhere that was too cold. Oh, I've got another hair mask. I got this because I went on the hunt for Marilyn and realised they didn't have Marilyn in the shop and I went to go find Marilyn online and at the time it wasn't in stock so I went back and I just bought this one. It's one that I can never pronounce. Shwen Wen Hu? Shwen Wen Blah 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 It's this one. I can never say it but it has a bay leaf infusion, fresh fresh watercress, um, egg, banana, avocado, Vinegar, rosemary, cinnamon. It's a bit of a funny smelling one, if I'm honest. Yeah, I can still smell it now and I've cleaned out the pot. If you are absolutely repulsed by the smell, then I wouldn't recommend getting it because it does linger on your hair for the first day. Not as strong as what it is in the pot, but it, it does linger a little bit. If you don't mind the smell, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just very cinnamony and earthy but it's worth it for the results it makes your hair so soft like it says on the front it's meant to improve the condition the luster and the strength of the hair and I feel like it does that it's really good for damaged hair obviously it makes my hair feel amazing because if the smell's not quite there I obviously I obviously like it enough to still use it so yeah that is it's a good hair treatment um let's move on from lush I still have some lush stuff but let's move on um, I have a couple of face masks. This one's from Liz L. This one is from Cordely. My skin has been a little bit funny with face masks since I had Delilah. My skin's gotten even more sensitive and doesn't particularly like these face masks anymore. This Cordely one, I love. I love the smell of it. It's very, very orangey, um, citrusy. Really lovely smell. I love the texture of it. It's kind of this deep pink and thick clay. It's their instant detox mask. So it's just meant to really deeply cleanse and minimize and minimize pores. And yeah, I didn't I wasn't like crazy about it, but I did love it. There's still some product in here just because I opened it quite a while ago. Um, and it says to use within nine months. But also there was a long time that I couldn't use it and I'm pretty sure I used this post pregnancy as well and my skin just went really red. And that's only because my skin's just gotten very funny because of all the hormones. But before that, I loved this mask. So yeah, I recommend it as long as your skin's not too sensitive. But yeah, it is a really nice mask. Um, and then this is the Lizelle one. This is, a, this is one of those products where I would use it again if someone bought it for me. But I'm not going to go out of my way to go buy it if that makes sense. So this is the Intensive Nourishing Treatment Mask and it's meant to retain moisture whilst toning and balancing. It's a strange consistency, like it's a very thin white mask. I used it a couple of times and thought it didn't really do much for my skin and then um, a couple of months ago 
I started using it again to use it up and I realised that it actually makes my skin really soft so you, it feels a bit hot when you have it on and then I'd wash it off and my skin would feel really soft so it did actually do something and I, I do find with a lot of masks you take them off and you can't really feel any difference in your skin whereas this I could so I do recommend it and I do really like it I just don't know why I wouldn't go out and get it again I think it's just because I like the Lush face masks it, I'm not like in love with it so I think I, I need to find like my my one face mask that I love and just consistently buy. I do want to try some more of the quarterly ones. So yeah, I guess if I can't find one that I love, I'll get the Lizelle one again because it is lovely. This is the Neil Jard uh, Deliciously Ella Rose Lime and Cucumber Facial Wash. I'm pretty sure most of you know who Deliciously Ella is. If you don't, she's a food blogger, she has a great blog, love her recipes. And um, she's brought out a collection with Neil Jard. I've had a few of these face washes. Um, before I had this one I had the rose one which I didn't mind. Um, I just, I'm not a huge fan of rose or rose scented things. I love roses, I just don't like the smell of like roses in makeup products. So instead I thought I'd try the Deliciously Ella one because the sound of rose, lime and cucumber just sounded really lovely and refreshing and it is really lovely. Um, I think I'm going to get it again. I did buy the orange blossom one after I used this one up and that's probably my second favourite but I'm, I'm going to go back to this after I've used up the orange, no it's not orange blossom, it's orange flower. I'm going to buy this again once I've used the other one up because um, I really like this. And it's just refreshing, my skin likes it, it's not irritated by it and it's just something nice to gently cleanse and wash your face with first first thing in the morning. And yeah, I really like it and really pretty packaging. Okay, I'm afraid we're going on to all lush now. I'm going to really quickly go over this stuff because as you can see... I have quite a few face masks here. I cannot tell you how long I've been waiting to go into Lush, hand these pots in so I can get my free face masks. I have here Brazen Honey, Rosy Cheeks, Don't Look At Me, BB Seaweed and another Don't Look At Me. So let's go through these really quickly. Don't Look At Me, my favourite one. Every time I go in there for a face mask, this is the one I will pick up. It's this amazing bright blue coloured face mask. It's got ground rice in it, which makes it a little bit exfoliating. Um, and lemons, again, I seem to be loving products with lemons in. Marilyn's got lemon, this has got lemon. It's a really cool in face mask to put on. And then when I take it off, my skin looks very bright and healthy and feels soft. BB Seaweed is one that I picked up um, a few weeks ago. I got it because they didn't have Don't Look At Me. And BB Seaweed is one that I've always known about. They've had it for a long time, but I've never really bought. I think because in my head I was getting it mixed up with another one that's for oily skin so I kind of just skimmed over BB seaweed but then I read it's actually good for all skin types and um, I thought I'd give it a go because um, it's meant to be relaxing, reviving, mineral rich um, and it cleanses, softens and beautifies and it really does, it makes my skin feel really soft afterwards it's a really again lovely cooling face mask to put on obviously it's got seaweed in so it's a little bit lumpy but I don't mind that, it's just really nice really nice face mask and it's a very sort of fresh, well fresh uh, seaside scent. Again, I'd, I like it, I'd buy it again. Uh, which one should I start with? One that I wasn't too keen on or one that I really, really wasn't keen on and would never buy again? Should we start with the one I'd really never buy again? That would be Rosy Cheeks. I wanted to try this for so long. Um, I think it's because it's um, a pretty pale pink colour and it looks like a just nice thick face mask, nice and smooth, and I thought it would be very similar to uh, Catastrophe Cosmetic, just a kind of a good all round calming cleansing face mask, it just says it's meant to calm any redness, soothe the skin and be cleansing, I just found it dried my skin out so much, probably because of the calamine, and I have fairly dry skin anyway, and I feel like it broke my skin out more than it has been, like my skin's been playing up quite a lot recently um, and this just did not help. Like I, I feel like this is to blame for a lot of breakouts I've had recently. My skin just didn't agree with it and I think it completely threw off the whole like, balance of my skin and just dried it out. Do not recommend it. I probably should have realised that calamine would dry my skin out, I just didn't make the connection. Right, last one, Brazened Honey. I've had this before which is why I happily bought it again when they didn't have Don't Look At Me but the consistency was a little bit different, a lot lumpier than what I remember it being and I just don't like it when face masks are just crumbling off your face. Again it made my it made my face feel a little bit 
dry. I just wasn't quite digging it as much as I used to. It is a great one for exfoliating. I don't know, I just didn't, I didn't love it, but I wouldn't be like, I'm not using that on my skin. Like, rosy cheeks, I was using up just to get rid of it. And this I was just happy to use, but it was neither here or there. But Brazen Honey is exfoliating, stimulating, nourishing face mask for tired skin. And it's got ground almonds to exfoliate and honey to moisturise. Maybe I just got a, a drier batch than usual. Because um, I remember I did like this face mask. I used to buy this on a regular basis. So maybe I just had a, a funny batch. Two really quick products. Rub, rub, rub. It's a, a shower scrub. So it's a, a body scrub that you use in the bath or the shower. Um, I've always liked this. Again, it's very much like Don't Look At Me. It's this vibrant blue colour. It's amazing. And it's um, a really fine exfoliant, but it leaves your skin feeling so soft. They use sea salt for exfoliated, but there's something in it that keeps your skin lovely and moisturised, and I'm trying to think what it is. It's got this sea salty smell, but you can also smell orange blossom and lemon through it, and it's just a really lovely, refreshing scent. I have always like this um, body scrub. At the moment I'm using Ocean Salt just because I hadn't used it for a long time but this is much more gentle on your skin. It hasn't got any cool sea salt in, it's just got fine sea salt in. And also I find that this retains moisture so it kind of moisturises you at the same time without, leave, without leaving you feeling greasy. Um, so yeah, it's a good all round body scrub. And the last thing, Yummy Mummy Shower Cream. Um, I have so many shower gels from Lush. My favourite is Olive Branch, uh, but I have so many that I've stocked up on, be it because it's been sent to me by the Lush PR team or um, I've picked it up during um, their seasonal ranges. So obviously this is a Mother's Day one. Doug and I just share shower gels because I've got so many and I've, st I've still got so many I'm trying to work through. This one's a very sweet smelling one. Um, it is nice, but I'm not like I have to buy it again. It's just, it's a shower gel. I, like there's not much to say about it. I don't hate it. It's lovely. You can't get it because it's part of the Mother's Day range, so I'm not going to bang on about it. But if it is out again, um, it is a it is a lovely kind of sweet smelling shower gel, and it is quite moisturising too. That's everything. I promise my next empties video won't be that long because I won't leave it so long between filming. But yeah, like I said, I hope to be back uh, once a week. Um, in for now and then build up to more videos when um when I'm able to. But if you're not subscribed to my vlogging channel and you want to keep up to date with um, what myself and Delilah and Doug are getting up to, then go subscribe to that if you want to. I hope you're happy to see me back on this channel. I know loads of people are probably just going to unsubscribe as soon as this video goes into people's subscription boxes. But oh well. I still enjoy doing these videos. Before I leave you, if you've gotten all the way to the end of the video, then in the comments leave me a product that you've recently um, used up or have almost used up. Um, and let me know whether you liked it or you didn't. And let me know of any face masks that you recommend um, that aren't Lush ones because it'll be quite nice to have a face mask that I can just leave in the bathroom and it will be okay for kind of 6-12 months rather than a fresh one that always needs to be in the fridge. It'd be quite nice to have a backup face mask, a nice cleansing one or something. I don't know, let me know. Or if you've tried any of the other quarterly ones, then let me know because I really want to try more of those. But yes, anyway, I'm going to go... Um, I need to go on voice rest now because I've been talking all day in my vlog and now I've been talking for the last like hour doing this video. I feel like in so many videos um, over the last year I've been like, it's good to be back. Um, but I promise you, like I am back now. I'm back. Um, yeah, anyway. Oh. Bye, bye, bye. I'm so bad at ending videos. <laughs> bye.